where any of this is leading to. Occasionally we'll get a new computer or maybe a, a quartz watch or, or some uh, little trinket, uh, like uh, uh, kind of like giving the Indians beads a couple of hundred years ago while we're getting these little spin-offs. But the black budget still rolls on, garnering up over a, a trillion dollars every two years. It's somewhere between 1.023 trillion and 1.31 trillion dollars every two years. And every, every year it goes by and the black budget is unchecked un, and unaccounted for, it's just subverting our country. That's number one. Number two is that these underground military, first of all, if there was something like a nuclear war or, or uh, uh, there was a definite enemy out there where uh, we were going to be under attack, uh, like from China or someplace like that, I could see maybe a, a, a couple of dozen underground bases. Uh, for a government, and uh, uh, so it, it could theoretically come, come uh, rise up like the phoenix out of the ashes. Well, not 131 of these. And uh, if you were going to uh, so-called round people up and put them in prison camps, well, what a better prison camp than underground, where uh, nobody knows where it is anyway. So uh, once again, uh, uh, these underground bases uh, are most likely. Uh, been planned as uh, underground prison camps and uh, slave labor factories for the New World Order. New World Order, by the way, is getting, and I'm w probably the only person ever talking about this, the New World Order is taking, and the United Nations is taking its uh, orders from, uh, believe it or not, uh, these more powerful outer space alien uh, entities, uh, we might call them the large greys or the small greys. Uh, sinister forces indeed. And uh, you might want to say, well, gee, how come we don't see more of this kind of thing? Well, uh, you can just imagine. If you're only being told 5% uh, or less of the truth, uh, that isn't very much to go on. 